Don't worry. The moment you become born again, there's a purpose. And there will always be something to come and interfere. Make sure that you are watchful and alert. He will go to the cross. They will think that they are crucifying him and yet he's opening the gate for everybody to enter and see the glory. Don't say everything. What is unknown? It's only a tongue. The writing, the sickness, the laying on of hands, the casting out demons, everything becoming strange and it causes people to wonder. Say, I wonder if it's real. This must be witchcraft. Trees will clap their hands. Trees will clap their hands. So they limited. Israelites didn't see great miracles. Those were not great, the great miracles. They limited God from performing. You see, if you don't understand or don't take the body of Christ in the right way or take his blood in the right way you limit God from performing. The moment you remember you are asking God with offense. Listen, Moses why do you bring us in the desert to die? Are there not graves in Egypt? Are there not graves in Egypt? We remember the garlics, the onions, the fish, the meat we used to eat in the desert. Because we used to eat that in Egypt. We used to eat labels. So they were murmuring and complaining. They were so offended. You see, offense causes God not to perform. God does not fully perform when you are offended. Men who preach the gospel, you know you can back me up. If you are not aware, you will understand. Some of you, God used to use you. But God is no longer using you like before. Because you were criticized. And you threw back. You were so offended. And the anointing went down. Mark 6. The Bible says. When Jesus went to his hometown. All those people were there. They were offended. Isn't this Mary's son? Joseph's son? Don't we know his brothers? Don't we know his sisters? The Bible says they were offended. And the Bible says Jesus could not perform a miracle. He could not perform because they were offended. You see, memory, it shows offense. And you can't fully receive from God. Because they were offended, Jesus could not perform a miracle. Offense limit us from seeing God completely. Many were offended. You see, if you are being criticized, learn to be happy. Because you are intimidating somebody. You are intimidating somebody. You must be happy when they criticize you. You need to be happy when they criticize you. Let me come your example. That's why I become happy when anything bad happens to me. All over the world, no matter who's, I don't mind who says whatever. But I know that what I do comes from above. And that's why I'm not, you know, crossed at anybody. 
Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Standing on the pulpit talking about me. Instead of talking about Christ. What baptism do you have? What baptism do you have? They shall all be taught by God. If you are taught by God, you are with him in the same house. And you eat and you drink with him. You eat and you drink with him. What you speak is from God. No one performing a mighty work in my name will ever speak evil of me. Because if you speak evil, now you can't see a mighty work. You limit God. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? So memorying becomes a sign of offense. Even when God feeds you, with his, when God feeds you with his food, you can't even realize that it's from God. Everybody, God gives you a chance to become great. But when he gives you a chance, people will come and fight you. People will criticize you. That's a moment of testing to check whether you are still strong enough in your heart. But the moment you begin to be offended, that's why you go down. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Come on, just repeat the last part. I am the bread of life. I am the bread. He didn't say I'm the manna. Let's go. That gives life. That gives life. You see they died in the desert. First Corinthians chapter 10. They did not realize that it's a spiritual food. Christ himself. Because Christ says I am the bread. Let's go. The living bread. The what? The living bread. The living bread. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Your forefathers ate the manna in the wilderness. They ate the manna in the wilderness, yes. And yet they died. Yet they died. Understand this statement. You may eat Holy Communion and still die. Paul says, 1 Corinthians chapter 23, this was personally given to me by the Lord himself. That on the night before he was crucified, he took bread, he took his cup, and gave to his disciples. He says, this is the cup of blessing for the forgiveness of our sins and we live forever. You see, there's no need for me to make an altar call when I say this is the blood. There's no need to make an altar call and say those who want to be born again. There's no need for me to make an altar call and say it's time for salvation. If you believe that the cup I give you is the blood for the forgiveness of our sins, you drink and the blood will wash you. If I say don't come when you are sinful, I'm still taking you away from God. But if I want to bring you closer, I'll just say see the blood. See the blood. The moment you see the blood, you'll be washed when you drink the blood. Then you are saved. Then you have eternal life. Many people take God and put him in a bottle. Listen, I, I know I can hear this. Some people are saying, you have to confess that Jesus is Lord. But isn't Jesus who's saying, if you drink, you'll have eternal life? Jesus says, if you drink my blood, you will have eternal life. And when you drink the blood, what do you speak? Because the blood speaks a better message. So the moment you begin to speak, you speak a better message. A message from above.
Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love our Father? Just read it. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven. Yes. So that anyone may eat of it uh-huh. and never die. And never die. You eat of it and you never die. You see, there are people who can just come and eat and drink without saying Jesus is Lord. But because they see the flesh of Jesus and they see the blood, they will never die. They live forever. The problem is ignorance. We come with a pattern. You must say, I believe in you, Jesus. You can even see the blood and see his bread. And see the bread, his body. The moment you take that, because you didn't see bread from the shop, you didn't see cold drink from the supermarket, this is from the throne of God. You will live forever. I know we have to break the, this religious spirit. We have to break the back of the devil. Some people didn't believe because an altar call was made. Fred was speaking about this man. He was a sinner. Very sinful. He doesn't know God. But when you call God, if you don't know him, he knows that you call him. So this man knows the names of the prophets in the Old Testament. He's drunk. He's a sinful man. He goes into the jungle. And when he walks in the jungle, he says, let me call God to come. He says, Elijah. He says, Elijah. Come, Elijah. You see, he's drunk. All of a sudden, there was a cloud in front of him. And the cloud opened like a curtain. And Jesus came out. And he says, I've called you for my purpose. I've called you to come and do my work. Jesus heard that this man is calling me. It's like tongues. You don't understand me. But my communication with God it's in agreement. So the man calls him and he comes. And Jesus says, I called him for my purpose. Listen, he started believing there. And God used him mightily. That man you come and you try to cut him with a sword. A sword just goes through. Because you still don't believe in miracles. I talk about this. Is it possible? Once you don't remember with God all things are possible. All things are possible. All things are Let's read it. But this is the bread that comes down from heaven so that anyone may eat of it and never die. Yes, anyone may eat of it and never die. Never die, yes. I myself am this living bread. I myself am this living bread. I'm the living bread, yes. Uh huh. I myself am this living bread that came down from heaven. Yes, I'm the living bread that came down from heaven. Yes. If anyone eats of this bread, yes, he will live forever. He will live forever. Go to verse 32. Go to verse 32. Jesus then said to them, Yes. I assure you, most solemnly I tell you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven. Moses did not give you the bread from heaven. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What Moses gave you was not the bread from heaven. Uh-huh. But it is my father. But it is who? My father. It is my father. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Who gives you the true heavenly bread? Who gives you the true heavenly bread? It is not Moses. So because they ate the manna memory. They died. So what 
came during the time of Moses was the Christ himself. They were eating from above. Let's go. For the bread of God is he who comes down out of heaven and gives life to the world. The bread of God is he who comes from heaven and gives life. If he gives life, you don't die. Let's go. Then they said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. Give us this bread always, yes. Uh -huh. All the time. All the time. Jesus replied, uh -huh. I am the bread of life. I am the bread of life. It's like John 14. Show us the Father. Jesus says, have you not seen me? Show us the Father. Jesus says, have you not seen me? I and the Father are one. So if you accept me, when you look at me, and you see the Father, you are blessed. Do we love Jesus Christ? Read on there. Jesus replied, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who comes to me will never be hungry. hungry. Uh -huh. Yes. And, and he who believes in and lives to and trusts in and relies on me will never thirst anymore. They, they will never thirst anymore. Uh -huh. Yes. But as I told you, although you have seen me, still, you do not believe. Although you have seen me, still you do not believe. believe. Touch John 4. John 4. Just read verse from verse 12. Are you greater than and superior to our ancestor Jacob? Uh -huh. Who gave us this well? Do you hear this? Are you greater than our what? Our ancestor Jacob. Where are they baptized? Where are they baptized? Into the ancestral line. Let's live for Jesus. What is your surname? What is what, what kind of baptism do you have? Repeat it. Repeat it. Are you greater than and superior to our ancestor Jacob? Who gave us this well? And who used to drink from it himself? Who used to drink from it himself? You see, that's why, that's why it says, if you drink of me, you will never hunger. So they drink from the well of Jacob. They keep on becoming hungry. They keep on becoming thirsty. Because they drink from So the God of Jacob. The God of Elijah. The God of. It means you are not close. If you are baptized into your surname, your ancestral line is still there. Are you greater than our father Jacob? Are you greater than our ancestor Jacob? Let's go. Are you greater than and superior to our ancestor Jacob? Yes. Who gave us this well? Who gave us this well? And who used to drink from it himself? Who used to drink from it himself? Uh -huh. and, and, uh -huh. and his sons and his cattle also? His sons, his cattle also? So you see all those ancestors. They used to drink there. Let's go. Jesus answered her. Jesus answered her, huh? All who drink of this water, all who drink of this water, will be thirsty again. They will be thirsty again. But Jesus says, if you drink of me, you will never be thirsty again. Do we love Jesus Christ? This is the day where we have to come very close to God. And leave our ancestral line. God is going to break every curse today by coming to the table and eat and drink. We are going to finish every bloodline and come to the blood of Jesus Christ. Everything must be finished. You've been suffering for too long. 
but this is the day that the Lord has made because you've been drinking from somewhere you've been eating from somewhere it's time to come to the house the house of the father the son abides in the house forever when you come in there you eat and drink with him come let's go let's go but whoever takes a drink of the water that i will give him yes repeat 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 but whoever takes a drink of the water that I will give him yes. shall never, no, never shall be never. thirsty anymore. No, never. They shall never, no, never be thirsty anymore. It means they will live. So he came by the well of Jacob and he is the well from above you must understand Genesis 1 the Bible says the spirit was hovering over the surface of the waters the water of Jacob is not part in that water verse 6 it says he separated the water from the earth and the water from above he made the expense the sky he made the expense he made the sky to separate the water from above and the water from below so when Jesus came he came with the water from above and when he comes from the water from above he comes to show you what you drink on earth is not what is from above if you drink of me you will never be thirsty but if you drink from your ancestral line you'll be thirsty again. This is the blood. Life comes from the blood. If they can't find your disease, if they can't, they can't find out what you, what you are sick from, they will take your blood to check what is disturbing you. So I declare and prophesy today. Whenever we drink and eat today, this is to break every ancestral line. This is to break every curse. This is to break every ancestral line. We see the blood. We will never be thirsty again. Your grandfather has been thirsty. Your grandmother has been thirsty. Your grandfather Jacob has been like that. If you drink there, you still be thirsty. But if you drink from above, you are alive. There are many things which causes us not to see this blood or see this bread. Memorying and complaining. Criticizing. Offense. We can't see the greatness of God. We now can see the greatness of God because of memory. This prevents us to see so this woman says our father Jacob our ancestors our ancestors drank there so God separated the water from above and the water from below and, and when Jesus came he came with such water because he's the water from above those who drink of me those who drink of me will never be thirsty. They will never die. Do we love Jesus Christ? This is the same spiritual drink. The same spiritual food. That's why you eat the same thing. You find healing. You find deliverance. And you can receive the Holy Spirit. Because you drink spiritual drink. You eat the bread from above. And when you eat, out of your belly shall flow the same river that comes from above. The same river is the water that is from above. Because it flows out of you now. It comes out of you. This is the water from above. 
Do you love Jesus Christ? Remember Galatians 6. Paul says, Be careful what you do to me. I bear the marks of Jesus Christ. So it's not Paul's marks. Now it's the mark of Jesus. And that mark produces the blood of Jesus. So whatever comes from him is a spiritual dream from above. Ah, you are going to see me praying for that table. I'm going to pray for that table. Will you see Jesus? Will you see Jesus? Yes, you see, it's, if, you, if you look at me, don't see me. Ah, let's hear religious people today. Greater is the one who's in me than the one who's in the world. So when I pray for it, the great one touches it. Out of my belly flows the river of life. He comes to me. Paul says when I stand and speak, it's no longer I, but it is Christ. So when I stand and speak, don't see me. Elijah says to Elisha, if you see me, you will not get it. But if you see me no more, you will get it. Don't see me. He says, give me a double portion. Elijah said, if you see me, you will not get it. But if you see me no more, you will get it. Don't see me. So he saw Elijah no more. He couldn't say Elijah, Elijah. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father. When you pray, say father in heaven. Hallowed in the... Those who worship the father shall worship the father in spirit and in truth. I don't know. A double portion. It's material. I'm not a pulpit man. Listen. A double portion. It's a material. Limited. One, two. Double. But a spirit without measure does not end. It overflows. So out of your belly shall not flow double. Shall flow the limitless. Without measure. So, you must understand this Jewish tradition. Elisha understood one thing. Elisha, Elisha understood this. That if there's a son in the house, the son of, you know, okay, this father marries two wives. He marries two, two wives. And then he feels he's no longer love the other one. The first one. Then he marries the second one. His inheritance will go to the firstborn of the first wife. Not the one he loves. So all his portions will go to the first one's son. That's what Elisha knew. That double portion, the portion of the father, will go to the son of the first wife. Even though the father no longer loves the first wife, he will receive a double portion of the father. So Elijah said to Elisha, What do you want from me before I go? Because they know that when the father goes, the firstborn son of the first wife whom the father does not love anymore is the one who must get the double portion. So Elijah understood the law. When Elijah said, Elijah, what do you want before I die? Before I go. So he knows that when people die, sons get the double portion. So he says to Elijah, give me a double portion of your spirit. So in the New Testament, there's no double portion. It's the spirit without measure. It's the spirit without limit. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one who gets this revelation. He understood the law. If you get double, there are challenges which will come which are above double. Challenges will come which are above double. So when challenges, such challenges come, you won't make it. What do you want? 
Today, I want a gift. But Paul comes. Do not forget to faint to flame the gift you received when I laid my hands on you. If you remain with a gift without the flame of fire, God is a consuming fire to consume every challenge that comes. To consume every challenge that comes. So if you are a if you are just with a gift without a flame, challenges will come. So Jesus is saying to us, if you drink of me and you eat of me, I completely live in you. Jesus is looking for a house. You are the house. He wants to come and live in you. You are the house. He wants to come and live in you. The sun abides in the house forever. You are the house. In my father's house, there are many rooms. You are the room. You are the room. You are the room. Do you love Jesus Christ? Whenever you eat this, you eat him. Whenever you drink this, you drink him. He lives in you. He abides in you. Then out of your belly shall flow the river which was from above. Not the river on earth. The river on earth. Your ancestral line. Jacob's well. Ancestors. The moment you take from above, the one from above will flow out of you. So our ancestor Jacob and our forefathers, the sons, take from this well. Jesus, I am the well. I come from above. Revelation 22. From the throne of the Lamb and the Father flows the river of life. So John 7 out of your belly shall flow the river of life. So where's the father? Where's the lamb? Inside of you. From, from the throne of the lamb and the father flows the river of life. So you are a dwelling of God. God needs a space and you are the space for God. Jesus is saying Listen, the Bible says in the book of John 20 you also read John 21. The signs, the miracles, and the wonders that Jesus did were so many. There were so many. Jesus did many miracles, signs, and wonders in the sight of the disciples which were not written in the Bible. Chapter 21. If we can write books about everything that Jesus did, the world is a small storage. It, the world cannot carry any, everything that Jesus did. So the book is just a drop. This Bible, this Bible is just a drop. This Bible is just a drop. But now what is happening? Get this. What is happening? The Bible says. You are the dwelling of God. So everything that Jesus did, if you can write books, the world is a small storage. So you are the storage to carry everything that Jesus did. Because the Lamb and the Father live in you. God carries the mysteries. God carries the mysteries. God carries hidden things. If he lives in you, they will be revealed to you. He will show you. You will be able to see them. I don't know if somebody gets this. I don't know if somebody gets this. What do we see when we come to the table? What do we notice on the table? If it's the body of Jesus and his blood, see treasure from above. This is treasure from above. Paul says, I carry treasure in this earthen vessel of clay. I carry treasure. Because you carry treasure, you touch that bread. 
And you say, Father, I thank you. It will no longer come from the supermarket. It comes from the Father. Father, I thank you. Then it multiplies. Your grocery will multiply. Your grocery will not finish. Your petrol will not finish easily. Your petrol will not finish easily. Your, finish easily. Your miracles, the miracles that you do will not end. I'm saying this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. What you eat, you will never be thirsty time and again. What you wear in winter, you can wear one thing and feel warm. You won't wear many things and still feel cold. Because what you keep is from above. What you buy is from God himself. What you buy is from the Father. Men of God, where do you get a sponsor to buy things that you buy? I never had a major sponsor. I have the tongue, the tongue, the power, and I eat the fruits of the power of my tongue. I speak the language from above. The moment I speak, the money that I get, Father, I thank you. Then it will not be limited to build. It will be not limited to buy. Because you shall eat the fruits thereof. Come on, come on, come on, people. Somebody did not get the revelation. Somebody did not get the revelation. The money that you receive is from God. I don't receive a salary. I receive the bread. I receive the bread. I don't receive money. I say, Father, I thank you. This is food from above. I don't see by me buying food and food coming after money. No, the money that I the money that I receive is from above. For everything that comes from above is the sun from above. Somebody ought to get this. Whatever you get, whatever you receive, you say, Father, I thank you. Why Matthew 6? Why did Jesus say, don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. If you worry about tomorrow, you think money. Look at the lilies of the field. Not even Solomon was like them. And Solomon focused on money. Solomon focused on money. Solomon focused on gold. But whatever God gives us, we didn't work for it. We say it's from the Father. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love our Father? So I love you, Jesus. Come on, just, just repeat that. Just repeat that. Do we love Jesus Christ? So I love you, my God. So I love you, my Lord. You see, some of the things when you teach them, you can literally see the devil. You can literally see how frustrated he is. Because so many people are going to be close to God. So many people will never be touched anymore. Do we love Jesus Christ? Come on, come on, just go on, just go on there. Did you receive your money? Did you receive your salary? Did you ever say thank you, God? I thank you, Father. And you find yourself buying and things do not, the money is not limited. It keeps on going on. And you find baskets full of money. Well, you have to get. Ah. And it's all from the tongue. You need money and there's no money. But you speak a better message. When they challenge you with money, go to the mouth of the fish. Somebody's keeping my money in the water there. Go and open. Somebody's keeping my money. Come on, let's go. 
Let's go. Let's go. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Listen. What we are going to have today. It's going to break your ancestral line. It's going to break your curse. You have come to the land. You have come to the land. Which in the old, our forefathers were moving around here. But Jesus stepped into this land to take away what our forefathers used to do on this land. So we come to the place where your things will be taken away. Our father Jacob used to drink from this well himself. His sons used to drink from it. But Jesus says, I'm the true water. I'm the well from above. Come on, read on there, read on. But whoever takes a drink of the water that I give him yes. shall never, no, never uh, be thirsty anymore. Shall never, no, no never le- be thirsty any more. Don't just drink. Because some when they drink, they want to see red. The same blood when you drink he says you'll have life. He calls himself the living waters. And the same water when you drink the same way the blood functions the same way the water will function. The same way it will function the same. The thing is you eat mashed potato. When you do mashed potato, it's water and, and potatoes. So that mesh potato, look at it as the body and the blood. Every food that you eat in your house, give thanks to the Father. Give thanks to the Father. Give thanks to the Father. First Timothy chapter 4 it says, Every food, as long as it's received with thanksgiving, it's hallowed. It says, Any food. Romans 14. It says, some limited themselves to eating vegetables. But one man's faith tells him that he can eat anything. Amen. Not any food, but anything. In this church, we can eat anything. In this church, we can eat anything. We can drink anything. If there's petrol, bring it. We turn it into pineapple juice. We turn it into pineapple juice. 95 unleaded. We turn it into juice. We drink. And we become alive. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Uh, I hear some people come for the first time and say, we'll see today. Today we'll see. We want to see you today. Hey! Hey! Haven't you heard that the whole world is so shocked? They were shocked with grass. Today we eat trees. We eat flowers. You turn them into something edible. And no one dies. Because he who speaks in me is the one that is from above. He speaks light where there is darkness. He says it's food. Uh, but, But the problem is one thing, people. You you put the devil up there by running away from what he's using to kill people. You run away 
from what is using to kill people. And you go for alternatives. We go for what he uses to kill people. We say this is food. We prove the devil wrong. If you are baptized from above, the Bible says, if you are baptized from above, you will even drink poisonous drink. And the devil trusts in it to kill you. But the Bible says if you are baptized from above, you are not from your bloodline. They are dead because of poisons, because of sicknesses. But you can eat the same poison and still become alive. How were you baptized? Let's ask ourselves questions. How were we baptized? Because the Bible says, those who believe, these signs shall follow them. These signs shall follow them that believe. There's a difference you must see. If you run after signs and wonders, you look for them. You look for signs and wonders. Your, your, your baptism is questionable. If you are baptized from above, we walk in front and the signs shall follow us. These signs shall follow them that believe. These signs shall follow them that believe. You run around looking for impartation and many look for impartation many times. Impartation, impartation, impartation. Next year, next year, impartation, impartation. Jesus says, those who eat of me and drink of me shall never be thirsty again. They shall never be hungry again. Out of your belly shall flow the river. If the river flows out of you, you don't look for impartation because it come, it's generated from you every time. It keeps on flowing every time. You remain there forever. These signs shall follow them that believe. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. These signs shall follow them that believe. There are some things you don't have to push them. They will be anxious for you. They are anxious for you. Every time I sign, say, I want to be seen through you. To love Jesus Christ. Here we eat anything. People, let's look unto Jesus. And really see Jesus. Not see men. If you see Jesus, you know that it's Jesus even when a stranger comes to you. You will never avoid him. You'll never avoid him. To be love a father. To be love a father. Okay, just, just, just go on there. Just go on. But the water that I will give him shall become a spring of water. Listen, the water that I give him shall become a spring of water. Listen, the water that I give it will become a spring in you. It shall become a spring in you. Let's go. It shall become a spring of water welling up, flowing, flowing, bubbling continually, bubbling continually. Oh, well, lang osay osa kuti isi. Uh huh. Bubbling continually within him. Within him. Moteng kaka ako. Unto, into for eternal life. Unto. Into. Or into. For eternal life. <laughs> Do you love Jesus Christ? Listen, Jesus gives you this once. And continually it flows in you. 
You understand? The thing is, we are ignorant. You take it. It overflows in you. You take it. You don't take it. How it is? And people see nothing. But how many see it? You take it. For it It overflows. In you. Read it. The woman said to him, "Say, give me this water." Give me this water because she's been drinking from her ancestors. Not the woman's surname is about to change. The woman's surname is about to change. No longer her ancestor line. Everything will be broken. There is power in the blood of Jesus to break every chain. To break every chain. There is power in the blood of Jesus to break every chain. Some of you don't be amazed. You drink here because it's your ancestors who have been making a decoration in your house making things according to their knowledge and you leave them like that you drink here you find everything changed in your house new position new position because there's power there's power there's power in the blood of Jesus There's still a river from the throne. Looking to come into somebody. Looking to come to someone. And when the river appears, we begin to understand one thing. You appear together with him. You are the dwelling of God. You are the dwelling of God. One man's faith tells him that he can eat anything. That bread and fish was his flesh. You see, he took bread and fish. When he says, Father, I thank you, they became equal. They all became the flesh of Jesus. So anything Anything. Anything. Look at your neighbor. Say anything. Say anything to your neighbor. Say anything. Say anything. Say anything. There's food next to you. There's food everywhere. Locate the same thing that the devil is using to shame the devil. Locate the same thing that the devil is using. Your baptism matters. The kind of baptism you get matters. Read there. The woman said to him, Say, Give me this water so that I may never get thirsty nor have to come continually all the way here to draw. Uh -huh. Let's go. At this, Jesus said to her, Go call your husband and come back here. Go call your husband and come back here. You yeah. see? She's been thirsty. Because if you have more, you don't get satisfied. Amen. 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 You don't get satisfied. How hot of Now she's going to drink. And it will be one. Jesus. Even those who have won can still not to be satisfied. Because they are living together with ancestral line. Oh, you're quiet. 
You think this woman is the one, she's the only one with many. You can have one and still be thirsty. Because you have ancestral line with you. You have maintenance of a curse with you. You may have one and still have Gog, Gigi, and Papa Gigi, and with from one person. The Bible says if you marry, you leave your father and mother. If you don't leave them, you come with them. So how many do you have? Even though you look funny at me. If you carry your ancestral line, you drink from Jacob. You carry Jacob and his sons. Yet we look at you, you are alone. We are going to drink what breaks every curse today. We are going to drink what breaks every curse today. It says you will leave them and be united. You will leave them and be united. You will leave them and be what? And be united. You must understand what it means. You will leave them. Now in Christ, there is no Jew. Because they are full of the law. There is no Greeks. Because they are full of the things. There is no bond. There is no free. There is no male. There is no female. We are one in Christ. When you become one, you left everything behind. You left everything behind. 